the 14th century Hungarian court could be a dangerous place, as the tale of Felician Zak demonstrates. On 6th of July 1320, King Charles Robert I of Hungary married his third wife, Elizabeth, daughter of King Casimir III of Poland. As you might expect, the father of the bride came along to the festivities, but then, as is so often the case with families, things started to go wrong. During the celebrations, Casimir insulted, which we can probably read as raped, a maid of honour at Charles's court, the daughter of a powerful magnate named Felician Zack. Zack was rightly furious and decided that the only acceptable response was to assassinate Casimir. Whether through bad luck or poor navigation, however, Zack and his friends could not find Casimir in the palace, but they did run across the hapless new queen, Elizabeth, cutting off four of her fingers before trying to assassinate Charles himself and murder his sons for good measure. Needless to say, Charles was less than pleased. At this point, the two versions of the story diverge. In one, Zack was killed on the spot by a brave royal tutor who didn't want to see all that tutoring of the princes go to waste. The other, as recounted by Dr. Doran in his rather excitable 1857 tome, Monarchs Retired from Business, states that Zack was captured and executed by being cut into small pieces. Always glad to do a thorough job, Charles then ordered Zack's son to be tied to the tail of a horse and dragged to death his second daughter to be beheaded, and her husband, who didn't really have much to do with this, starved to death. The rest of the family were then disinherited and banished. Zack's raped daughter, who might by kinder souls be considered the real victim in all this, was paraded through the streets after having her nose, fingers and lips cut off.